Welcome back, girl. I hope all is well with you. We're going to get into a very cute and loving love tarot reading with LeBron James and his beautiful wife, Savannah James. Welcome them to the show. Hey, y'all. How y'all doing? Welcome to the show. Now, I need to check in on them and make sure everything is okay and everything is still good because, you know, I just feel like this is one, uh, one of the most beautiful couples I've ever... I won't say ever seen, but they, they up there. They pretty much are up there. LeBron's is very successful NBA basketball player. He played for the Lakers. Okay. He the GOAT. He won the, the best basketball players I ever seen besides Kobe. Okay. And Michael Jordan's, you know, I those I like all three of those. Okay, but LeBron's is, is the one right now, okay, because you know we don't have Kobe no more and Michael Jordan said don't ask him for no autographs, don't ask him for nothing, baby. Just get, go to the store, get them Jordans and get out of his face. Okay, fine. But when it comes to this couple, I think they're so beautiful together. Savannah, I, you know, because LeBron's was out there slam dunking for HOs, okay, at one point. And I'm like, Savannah, where you at, girl? Get out here with your man, girl. Get out here, be courtside, because he out here showing out, girl. And Savannah did just that, girl. I saw on her Instagram, she took her image from a, from a 7, okay, all the way up to a, a 12, okay? You hear me? Sister girl has been stepping out in style and fashion, looking good, okay, hair on point, makeup on point, and she's been courtside, baby. She had to be with LeBron's because he was out here showing out for a minute, girl, in the last couple of years, baby, okay? He was getting out of control. He was showing out and hurting himself at the same time. It's, baby, you up there trying to slam dunk for HOs, you done sprung something, okay? Now you done hurt yourself, okay? Because God don't like ugly. So they, so the Lord sent him down for a little bit on the bench, baby, and I think he got back right, okay, because Savannah was out there. Well, everything was going well until Women's Day, okay, LeBron, I saw on Twitter that he told two um, Caucasian women, happy uh, Women's Day, and baby, they was all on him, just touching, just a hugging, and just a caressing his shoulders as if he was just a donut, baby, a chocolate donut, baby, that they wanted to swallow, okay, and it's like the question, I guess TDJ can finally ask them, have you ever been swallowed, okay, LeBron's about to get swallowed that night, and I'm like, look, Savannah, where are you, but the thing is, if you gotta always be watching your man, girl, it's like, girl, is it time to let him go? I hope not because I, uh, you know, I wish the best for them because guess what? Bronny, which is his, his oldest son is finally living his LeBron's dream. Okay. I don't know if it's Bronny's dream, but it's definitely LeBron's dream that his son get drafted to the NBA. And he said he want to play a game with Bronny in the NBA before he leave that he's been saying there ever since he got in the league. So I saw in the article that Bronny is about to be drafted or already drafted baby so it's, it's going well it's going good for him and i like to see that for him and his son that black man really put in a lot of effort with his son and so i hope brony don't disappoint okay do i think brony is on the level of his daddy nah okay lebron came out the womb probably with the skills that he had and brony could have possibly got it from his daddy but brony seemed like he I won't say that his heart is not in it. I feel like his heart is in it because his father's heart is in it. And that's a firstborn son. You know, you're going to definitely, if you see your father want something real bad, then it's almost going to be like your goal now. So that seems like what he's doing. But it, would Bronny be a basketball player if LeBron wasn't there? Mm, it's a 50 50. Probably not. Okay. That's what I feel. But that don't mean it's true, girl. So we're going to see what's the energy around this couple right here. Because, like I said, they got a beautiful family. Bron LeBron is out there living his dreams, okay? But is he trying to upgrade his wife? Because the women that was caressing him like a, a chocolate Adonis, they was older women, okay? And they did not seem like they appear to be what you would call better than his wife. Until I found out, until my son told me, I think he told me that that was the NBA owners, okay? They they owned the team. <laughs> At least one of them did. And I'm like, oh, okay, well, they write his check. So he, he couldn't sho shove them off or something like that. But that could have been some type of harassment. It's like they were doing team too much for real, and everybody saw it. But we're going to see is the energy okay with them because the following week, we saw LeBron's and her coming on the court okay walking courtside to their seats and lebron snatched the little girl because they both were holding the little girl hand and lebron snatched the little girl hand and not in a snatch like mean type of way but just in a 
like his focus was somewhere else and then pulled the little girl on with him and then savannah looked at him like what and savannah wasn't looking her fashionable self she's like she probably been crying and stressed out probably tussling and fighting all night her hair looked like that and i'm like girl what is going on with the relationship i hope everything is good so let's go ahead and pull some cards girl and see what's going on with this relationship let's hope that it's still on the up and up you know, either way to go, if LeBron's, if Savannah have to go for her own sanity, girl, because it seemed like she was about to lose some of her sanity, the way she was looking the last time I saw her, it, it, like, at least she's going to be paid for her effort and her time, okay? That's the least. But, because sometimes when I see her, I mean, let's just, before I get into the reading, I have saw her the last couple of times, she was smiling at him, and she was, but he was really giving her some attention, like flirty attention. And she was kind of like, boy gone, you know, just like, you know, still smile like, boy gone, okay, enough of that. It's almost like she was giving him that kind of energy. And I'm like, well, Savannah, why are you treating him like that? Okay, he being flirty and nice. But, you know, sometimes they be flirty and nice in public because he undid something and got caught up in something. And maybe she a little agitated and annoyed, okay? But she still tried to put on a brave face. You know, so that's kind of what I was picking up, girl. Maybe I was reading too much into it. But let's go ahead and pull some cards real fast, girl, and see what's going on. Okay, so they both good looking people. Okay, I think LeBron's is a good looking man, and I think she's a good looking woman. So, but good looks gonna keep you together, baby, because sometimes your man wants something else. He got another preference now that he on the level that he is, girl. So, let's see. Okay, now we're gonna pull so that we can know exactly who energy is whose. We're gonna pull for Savannah up here. We're gonna pull for LeBron's right here when it comes to each other. Okay, so Savannah, okay, what's the energy around you and? LeBron, in your opinion, from your point of view, girl, give me three cards. Okay, you gave me four or five. Okay, girl, I'll take it, girl. Okay, you probably got a lot to say. Now, LeBron, how you doing, sir? Okay, now, give me from your point of view, how's the energy around you and your wife, Savannah? Okay, thank you, sir. Well, LeBron's okay. Thank you for that, though. I appreciate y'all honesty. Now, now in between the card that I don't know who this came out for, but it came out for one of them. It's the Moon card, so it's like that's the overall energy here. There are some secrets, there are some cycles, there's something that's continued to happen in this relationship that either from either one of their sides, okay. So it's some secrets that's gonna be exposed here in this reading. Let's just go ahead and slide that right there with that Moon girl. Okay, somebody too big for their britches. So let's go ahead and see how Savannah, how Savannah feels about this relationship. What's her point of view? Now, right now, Savannah says she got the eight of swords. She feel bound and gagged. She can't speak about what's going on with her and her husband right now. And at this point right now, with this card, if you can see, this, if there's a woman that's surrounded by eight swords, the eight swords are either entrapping her, but you, as you can see, okay, and she, her hands are bound, and she has blinders on. Now, Savannah probably said, girl, I'm not about to leave my situation. I'm just going to put these blinders on and act like I don't see what's going on. It's not a big deal, okay? Because at any point, as you can see, she's small enough to walk with, between those swords to escape. And her hands are not tied, bound, are not bound together to the point that they're impossible to break those ties. Those ties can come off. And if she wants to, she can take those blinders off. But she refusing to do so. Okay, and she refusing to leave because, like I said, she may feel like she trapped because she got children. She probably feel like she trapped because she got that big old house, baby. Can't she afford a house like that on her own? Girl, okay, with LeBron's money, I say you can. But maybe she, you know, because it's swords here. So that means that it's some truths here being, you know, spoken. Some truth that's being revealed here. But with those swords pointing down, it's almost like, you know, is it? The whole truth and nothing but the truth. And do she even want to hear the whole truth? Because like I said with this card, she can easily walk away and and, and leave. Because this, this card telling me that she got reasons to do so. But she don't want to or she refusing to. Or she got the blinders on and she refusing to see it. Okay, so let's move on, girl. We ain't going to force her to leave. Oh, we got that three of swords energy. Okay, she got that heartbroken, deceptive type of energy. Now either she, you know, this is her point of view on from LeBron's okay so she's saying that she heartbroken from him she feels like she's been deceived um there's some pain okay a shocking a shocking pain to the heart a broken heart three swords now remember she got these swords surrounding her in this relationship 
and now they're in her heart so she's starting to feel it but she said he got that good stuff baby so he probably be putting down that d baby because it's showing up as they are still lovers in the middle of everything they still get it going on baby okay it's not like it's lacking in the bedroom at all okay so they are showing up as lovers so they still girl regardless of he being deceptive behind closed doors and she said she ain't leaving because he's still laying it down baby all right <laughs> they still kissing and hugging they're not lacking in, in that department when it comes to love so the love is still here so that's the ultimate love she said she loved her man and so therefore she's gonna have that nine of pencils she's gonna stay where the money reside baby she's gonna stay there and look good feel good okay she's gonna have that peacock she's gonna make sure that she always looking good for him okay showing off her stuff let anybody else know that she is still here she's still present she ain't going nowhere with the nine of pentacles she's like why why would she go somewhere if she got nine pentacles baby all to herself okay she's just looking at her haters okay moving on but then we got the strength that's in reverse okay which means you know there's some fears here and she don't have the courage to leave she she there's some fears that what would she be without him she's been with him probably i think they've been together since high school around college so she, he's all she know okay so she's just gonna be on the prowl baby okay and i and with this energy right here being in reverse it's not like she even looking for drama. She ain't even looking for drama from him. She probably don't even be checking his phone or nothing like that. Drama probably just come to her. She's not hunting for it. She's not looking for it because it's like she's fearful of what she'll find. Now, when it comes to LeBron's, LeBron's, what's your point of view when it comes to your relationship with your wife? Girl, we got the death card. Why? Girl, he said there's an ending here that could bring about a new beginning. So, hopefully he ended his... Uh, Playboy ways or whatever he's doing that's causing this sore energy at the beginning of the reading. Okay? Because with the death card, it is about an ending. The ending of a situation. And as you can see, baby, okay, his mouth all open, baby, eyes all wide, this deadly card. So he's very aware of what he's doing, okay, for this situation. But maybe he thinks that the relationship is dying out, okay? And it's something that's that needs to be ignited here okay it, they either need to have a renewal okay or something needs to be done here okay or or this thing is over followed by the two of swords now remember she's sitting here with the eight of swords which means she got the blinders on she refusing to get to to leave the situation when she can and he is feeling like he's stuck in a hard place and he being pulled and tugged into two directions with the two of swords and he also has blinders on he refusing to take off the blinders as well he refusing to make a move or a decision about a situation so he may have you know somebody else that he may be uh whining and grinding on but he's not he's he's torn into two directions okay and he's not making a decision on either one of them okay he's not making the decision to leave his relationship even though the ending is here and something is dead in that relationship and it needs to start over but he's not making a decision to leave with this eight of, with this two of swords okay he got blinders on as, as well he probably blind to the fact that she's feeling entrapped and heartbroken who knows but he got that two of swords he got the hook stuck in two places and it's pulling him in opposite direction which means he ain't moving but in the middle of it all just like the lovers with her he has the nine of cups she is a wish fulfillment for him okay he is he feels she feels all his cups he feels very smug and pleased in the situation that he's in he feeling lucky so this looks like a happy loving loving you know lucky little guy he feel lucky to have her okay you know she probably give more than just you know whatever he getting outside in the, in the streets whatever she fills his cups at least nine of them now it's one cup that's missing here now maybe he give that to whoever on the outside but as far as she goes um she fulfills all nine of his cups that's a lot of love here followed by the fool okay now the fool Car speaks about somebody being naive dancing to the beat of their own drum okay doing what they want to do being free starting over fresh okay kind of naive it's a new beginning okay you about to fall off the cliff right 
you know, you at the edge of the cliff, baby. You about to fall off, or are you? Okay, this person is finessing their way and just happy about life, happy go lucky. So he dances to the beat of his own drums. Okay, so he feel like he the marching band, he the uh, director. Okay, and you know he leading his own band. Okay, with the fool card, followed by the ten of swords, girl. Now it's like he got this stabbing these ten of swords out here betraying somebody because she feel like she betrayed but at the same time she's not looking for this betrayal she don't want to see it but girl you feel those swords in your back so it feels like you know lebron's is out there creeping he creeping out there baby okay now the thing about with his creep because his creep was in reverse but think about his creeping though. He's out there being selective. He's being careful. Okay. He's trying to be careful. Now, him having his bosses rub all up on him. You know, you saw he had his hands to himself. He just kept his hands like this while they just rubbing all up on the arm, um, all up on that chocolate Adonis, Adonis baby. They was all up on him. Now he's he's making sure when he's creeping, he's he's keeping it um private. He's keeping it private as he could possibly be. Now, that don't mean that. He's still not betraying her, okay? He know he betraying her. Okay, he know that it's the Ten of Swords here in her back. Okay, so, but at the same time, he feel like he danced to the beat of his own drum, okay? He at the height of his career. He doing his thing, okay? He got females that he ain't never had before, I guess. But in the middle of it all, they do love each other. There is a great love here, a love connection, okay? Cups are being fulfilled. Love is being made between them two. On the outside of that, girl... Outside of the physical, it seems like it's a lot of drama here. Savannah is beautiful, so she is keeping his attention. She knows how to keep his attention, and she knows that if she leaves, she's taking down those pentacles with him. With with him, it ain't about it ain't even about money down here at all, of course, because he is the money man. Okay, he just all all about him being satisfied. Okay, and he know by satisfying his need, he gonna betray her. Okay, in the cycles of this, it keep on happening. Um, it's things that he keeping on the down low behind closed doors. He don't want to interrupt his marriage, okay, because he's not going nowhere. So a side chick of his need to know that he there, okay, at least until the children are gone, okay, until they have a new start, which means probably when the kids are not there. She she done found out about some of the betrayal here, okay, when it comes to him being pulled between two persons. It seems like she probably know about this person. It could have been a third party as well, a third party situation. Um, but she's not leaving, okay? She just going to not speak about it, act like she don't see it. Okay. So, let's see. I want to find out more about this death card. Why is this death card here? So that's a major arcana. They do have... They only have, well, they have two major arcanas, but this one didn't officially come out. It's the moons, cycles, deception. Okay, but we got deception already here. But the death card is a major arcana, and I want to know more about it. Okay, what is this major arcana, and why is it here in Savannah and James? Savannah, the James is family. Why is that death card here? Because maybe he even threatened to leave, okay, or divorce, and she was like, nah, you know, we, we just had to deal with it. Let's see. Is there anything you want to tell me about this death card here, LeBron? Why you got this death card on your perspective of how your relationship is with Savannah? What do I need to know? Thank you. Okay, you put all these cards out there fast, baby. So, this death card represents... Something that's on the low key. Okay, again, something that's hush hush cycles of this. Okay, he keep it quiet, baby. He keep his stuff, you know, on the down low. He don't let it get too far out. You that's why people ain't really heard nothing about him other than him showing out on the court. Okay, and he think that he being discreet because he really is. He really trying to. But it's like LeBron's. We know basketball players. If you ever been around basketball players, we know when they showing out and when they showing out for a girl. Okay, and that's what he was doing. He cannot say he wasn't. But you know, he keeping it low key. So he says to not announce something, to treat with little to no emphasis. That's very secretly, not showy and hidden information. Okay, so yeah, he keeping whatever this death card is that got her bound and gagged that keep on happening. He keeping it low. 
and it depends on your point of view okay how are you looking at it it says try a different approach which i feel like savannah is trying a different approach she says she's just gonna put the blinders on and then he decided okay i'm gonna put the blinders on as well okay because i ain't going nowhere okay I'm, I'm hooked here i'm hooked here for a minute at least and it says change your outlook your opinions and your point of view a different perspective to look at things baby okay because we got the x annual feeling like it's hard to fit in call in the middle okay like somebody's definitely calling the middle here a crossover between an Xer and a um, millennial. So this seems like this could be somebody that he could be messing with. That's it's not a Gen Z, so it's not that young. It's between the Xer and the millennial, so around his age, and maybe what how age of the millennials are probably to twenty five. Okay, it's oh no to tw no twenty six and up. Okay, so this person is over the age of twenty six at least. Followed by spirituality, searching for a meaning in life, discovering the magic all around you, manifestation, and spiritual realm. So again, he's keeping his stuff low key because for the for the point for the main thing is his life. He's not trying to mess up his life at all. He ain't trying to do anything like that. Now he is trying to have a little fun, baby. Okay. Now with this uh, feeling like it's hard to fit in. Uh, they probably have some hard times at ha at the house, and he got to walk out the door. And when he go out the door, he go over there to whoever this two of swords is that he's stuck between. But he never, it seems like he never going to tell this two of swords that he's going to leave his wife. Not for now, because it's followed by the nine of cups. She got his heart, okay? And they, they still are heavily attracted to each other. So it's not like he to the point that he want to leave his relationship. But with his death card, he can cause... Uh, ending to it he can cause a divorce by what he's doing but he keeping it very much low key very much low key to the point that savannah either don't see it or she don't want to see it or refusing to, to let go of the situation okay savannah i'm gonna ask you about this eight of swords energy here but you got an eight of swords that's followed by a three of swords okay why is that there for you girl okay why is that there for you savannah when it comes to the bronze Okay, thank you. Okay, so maybe this little millennial slash Xer, Xer, okay, Generation X girl is being is that LeBron's probably be being put on blast here. That's it speaks about being publicly embarrassed. Okay, so that means that LeBron's done embarrassed this girl in public before, and girl, he, it just happened on Woman's Day. Okay, and it just happened um, when he was out there slam the. Uh, ducking for O's, okay? So he not been known to put be put on blast. So he not embarrassed her publicly. It speaks about that personal business being exposed, exposing secrets, okay? Exposing this moon, okay? Because she's like, if you can't keep it low key and keep your, your dirt down below, then that's going to be a problem here, okay? Secrets and being called out. Followed by this millennial, okay? This young Teneroni he dealing with, okay? It speaks about somebody that's self-enterprising, adventurous. So it's like he'd probably be a little bored with Savannah sometimes. So he got to try to get have a little fun with somebody on the side. And destroying traditions could possibly be destroying his marriage. Somebody that's diverse. Somebody that probably the opposite of what Savannah looks like. Okay. It could be somebody that's Caucasian uh, or mixed or, you know, a mixed race or, or other. Okay. Check the box other. But it's a young person, okay, individuality, okay. So it's somebody that's very adventurous to him and exciting to him. But it's a lot of lies, a lot of cap, okay, that's going on here. It speaks about what they're saying is not true, becoming someone that you're not, lies, BS, faking. So the LeBrons that she remember growing up, okay, in high school is not the LeBrons now because, girl, the LeBrons you with now so got a billion dollars or something like that, girl, close to it. So, yeah, he is way different, girl. So, he probably lying a lot to her, and she don't like it. He probably never used to like do that before, and that's creating a salty situation. And that's the situation I see with her sometimes. You know, even though, you know, she she's smiling because, you know, he fine. He tall to her. You can tell that she's still attracted to him. But it's I'm like, mm, he's so fine, but he get on my nerves. Okay, it's that type of energy. She get very salty with him sometimes because her heart is broken. Um, it, and it changes her mood. Okay, the sudden change of her mood. She feeling like someone did her wrong. She get upset, bitter, and she get annoyed, and she get jealous too because she know he out there getting somebody that's younger. But the fact is, when she come out and step out, she do draw attention too. Okay, the media draw attention to her. LeBron be looking at her because it's just like when when Savannah is on the court. 
LeBron's attention is 100% on her. You can just tell. He'll stop the game and look at her, stare at her. He definitely is very much attracted to his wife, okay? So she can still keep his attention. She just got to make sure, and it's sad to say that she got to make sure she be there to support him. But it's like, girl, what else are you doing? I know you got kids, girl, but you don't hire Maria or somebody to go over there, your mama or somebody, Miss Mary, to come over there, keep them kids that you can trust, girl. Go out there and support your husband, have some fun, Okay? Those games be fun, baby. I like seeing... I like going to the live games of a team that I like and support, honey. But there's some filters on this relationship, though, okay? And I, I'm sure she'll like it that way because she don't want to be embarrassed. She's trying to make yourself look better. Things are not as they appear in this relationship. It's some sugar-coated truth. Remember, he got here capping and lying. So it's some sugar-coated truth here, okay? Now, I just want to know what is LeBron doing to put this ten of swords in her back, okay? Or do he feel like a ten of swords is in, in his back, okay? Let's get, okay, because this is his perspective on his relationship with Savannah, that he feel like there's a ten of swords here. Now, is he deceiving or is she deceiving him? Why is the ten of swords here for LeBron and how he feels about Savannah? His point of view on his relationship with Savannah. Why is the ten of swords here? Thank you. Now, the thing is that he's an influencer, okay? He's influencing. Hey, Savannah, that influencing too. She influencing in style, baby. Uh, I'm sure she relationship goes to some girls, whoever be doing it, okay? But it says she, they have the power to influence. Monitor your reputation, marketing, persona, persuader, okay? So there's some influencing that's going on. It's like you out there in the public eye, baby. I need you to be careful and watch what you're doing, how you're doing it, okay? Because I don't need to be embarrassed by you, okay? You know, stuck one sword in my heart. Two more already done got here in 2023. 2024, you trying to do, put more, okay, at the end of end of uh, things, I see this ten of swords. That's the ultimate betrayal. You can't even put no more swords in the back. Ain't no more back to put swords into, you know? But they influence her. But at the same time, they blessed, okay? It says something good has happened. Expressing gratitude for blessing. Lucky's on your side. Feeling lucky, okay? But there's a fear of missing out. Okay? You got that FOMO. It's fear of missing the opportunity. Feeling pressured and choices, okay? And this could very well be his owners at this point putting they just put the final sword in the girl back because even though he blessed to have his job with the lakers he's influenced people are watching recording but girl he had the fear of missing the opportunity if he would push those ladies off okay if those ladies would have got pushed off he'd been fired and sent to the employment office so he was feeling some type of pressure and he had to make a choice to go ahead and let them touch but he, he definitely kept his hands to himself he did not um he wasn't disrespectful to them to hurt their feelings, but at the same time, he wasn't engaging when it came to his hands or something that he did, okay? But that ain't mean that Savannah didn't cuss him out when he got home still. It's like, why did you just sit there? You should have said you were going to the bathroom. So, let's get the energy of this relationship moving forward, then we're going to close out the reading. What's the energy of the relationship moving forward? Okay, what do we need to know about Savannah and her husband? We got a lot here, girl. This is a lot. Why y'all get think y'all get this many cards, honey? Cause y'all the uh what? The goat, the goat couple? Okay, well, it's all right. We got an energetic movement, okay? So we see movement here. Energetic, full of energy, full of life, moving forward, okay. The cards sticking together, they thick though. But they're gonna have some achievements, okay? So, you know, they're gonna be moving forward in a positive way with high achievements, high accolades, awards, probably. And acceptance, okay? Okay, look at somebody accepting that belly, baby. Just accepting who the person is, accepting who they are in this relationship and moving forward with determination. Determined to keep this family together, determined to stay together, probably determination to make sure that they uh, respect each other. Who knows, okay? Generosity, giving. It's a giving energy, okay? Whether it's giving to charity or giving to each other, okay? They got enough to give, they're gonna be giving. Okay, in this relationship. Cultivation, honey. Okay. Cultivating a, a relationship, maybe a different type of relationship, okay? Making sure that they give to this relationship in a in more than just the you know, physical and more than just uh monetary, okay? They're gonna cultivate some type of relationship here that's beautiful, beautiful music, okay. Okay, I I see, you know, orchestrating something together, working together. Okay, followed by 
drive okay a drive again a lot of moving forward energy okay having drive maybe somebody picking up maybe savannah gonna keep us up busy okay doing something more than just sitting there watching lebron honey keep us up busy enlightenment okay learning something being enlightened spiritual whether it's spiritually or you know picking up some type of knowledge okay learning something and then we got that golden light around them with protection followed by empowerment okay so it, it's all positive here they're moving together with positivity they go that golden light again with protection around this relationship around this family and they're going to nurture oh okay is there going to be another Le lebron popping up on the scene with the nurture card or maybe just nurture what they already have they already have a family okay uh, even though i do see a little baby elephant there but if it's not a new coming baby then they're gonna nurture what they have right now and make sure that they that it grows into something healthy and strong so that's gonna be the reason reading for savannah james and her husband the goat lebron james okay wish them the best okay and as long as they work together cultivate a relationship between them two empower each other stay enlightened stay informed okay have determination to move forward all this moving forward energy here i feel like they're gonna be just fine honey and if lebron know how to cheat in peace okay and and it's like baby you don't even gotta cheat you got the fear of missing out grow out of that type of stuff okay i know you're the man and you feel like it's women out there that excite you but at the end of the day nobody excite him more than his wife even though he know what he do does sometime behind closed doors on the low key does hurt her but at the same time he wants to respect her and girl this is their relationship honey so they gonna they gotta do what they want to do when it comes to this relationship honey because it ain't always so fast to say tell her to leave girl go and leave him or whatever because there is love here okay and you know they got a lot of growing to do in this relationship and i hope they learn and grow together in a positive way so that's gonna be the reading for them too wish them the best girl catch me on the next one bye